بسم الله والحمد لله I believe yesterday was the first day of winter just uh, closing out the longest night of the year you can see the chicken coop up there we've done uh, an okay job of winterizing the coop the tarp on top is not working out and we'll have to come up with an alternative our rooster has started to make more noise you can really hear him kind of practicing in the mornings now which is super nice it's a cool thing to uh, to hear first thing in the morning you might be able to hear some of that those are actually the hens squawking we'll see if we can eavesdrop for a little bit Uh, maybe they see me and they're a little shy. Anyway, he's been practicing. Morning, everybody. Last couple of days, we actually haven't had rain. It's been quite beautiful. And the hot wire has been doing a great job of uh, keeping both AD in and the goats good morning buddy and the goats from rushing me at the gate which has been wonderful yeah bandit i hear you you're hungry well we've got just what you like here a little mix of alfalfa and timothy go ahead buddy eat your food eat your food that's a good boy that's a real good boy and let's get you guys your chow. Oh, here we go. Whoops, whoops. Ah, I missed my opportunity. Oh, oh, here's a spot in here. Ah, actually, I want to empty that out. And uh, let's, let's feed them in the sunshine. There we go. That'll give me the opening to get some in here. And Rogue would like some over there and we'll put some more in here I think we're all set with that you can see the rain's gotten everything to be quite mucky um, I did replace their uh, straw it was nice and dry but of course they come trudging through here and bring in all of that wet with them I put this little improvised feeding rack in there so that uh, they could take their hay uh, into the under the shelter normally we've got this little uh, rack that we've secured um, to the side of their shelter and we'll put the hay in there we used to have, you can see the chains hanging from here. We used to have a little um, wooden roof that we would uh, dangle off the side, but we suspended it at a very unfortunate angle. We had it way out here like this. And of course, uh, the snow came down. This was last year, uh, weighed the whole contraption down and it broke off. So we could actually uh, replace that. Uh, now that we're a little bit smarter, we understand the importance of angles in shearing both water and snow. So yeah, I might do that and that way we can continue using this rack uh, for feeding even through the, uh, the rain and the snow rather than being forced to move everything in there and then they've got to eat and poop and sleep all in, all in one spot, which you can see things get quite quite messy 
uh, very quickly. So I think I'll go ahead and freshen up their water. You're not really eating, are you? Are you all done? I guess you're all done. Assalamu alaikum, we'll see you later. Got some uh, trenching to do today. The break in the rain. We've got some drainage issues that uh, we need to manage before things get too hectic. I'm gonna get this uh, all set up and then we'll start work. What we have is this seasonal uh, culvert that uh, drains water down and through, hey Luna, uh, underneath and then out to the creek, which you may not be able to see from there. Uh, and then draining into the culvert from here, this is coming down our driveway, which uh, abuts this hillside. We need to dig a trench. You can see where some of that work has started kind of off and on, but we need to make sure that this trench is contiguous. None of this has been dug out yet, uh, but coming up a little ways over here, you can see where I will have left off right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can get these uh, bits of broken trench connected and hopefully we'll have a nice drainage uh, for the rains when they come. Beginnings of a trench coming all the way up the driveway. Yeah, there's a lot more work to do because now that the trench is at least roughed out, we're going to have to do something about the driveway here to make sure that uh, any rain that accumulates is drained off into the trench. So that's going to be the next challenge. Uh, that might involve trucking in some gravel and getting uh, a steamroller or some such to to level things out in the right way, but we'll see. We'll see how far this gets us. I'm going to take AD for a walk and let the goats out. Uh, got a couple new pieces of kit that Aisha picked up. This um, longer leash and then we're gonna try a harness on him today so we'll see what that experience is like and of course we'll let the goats out. All right there we go so we'll let them go. 
and then let's see if we can get this harness on you, AD. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a lot. It's like really ergonomic. That's pretty cool. Is it really? Yeah, like it you know, fits nice in the hand. And uh, I feel like that harness is way more, hey! Yeah, well, of course, it, of course it's gonna hold you back. Turn around and keep walking. That's what it's designed to do, buddy. Yeah, this is cool, man. I'm at the creek. Um, the bend in the creek, uh, which is after a bridge that is just to the north of our property. Uh, came out with AD and uh, my wife's son, Ethan, uh, picking up trash on the way out here. Not a ton, but enough to be disappointing. And he is out there in the creek. We got that new harness and leash, which are working out great. AD's playing in the water. We're gonna gradually make our way back home. He took me down here yesterday too. <laughs> I'll grab some plastic over here. Okay, Ethan's walking uh, AD back to the pen and we'll see if we can get the goats. everybody doing <laughs> come on over this way got you some grain got you some grain but you gotta come my way you gotta come my 